I've never been able to have myself filmed while having a seizure, but uh, I do think it is important to know uh, what the experience generally looks like. Just because someone is having a seizure doesn't mean that they must be taken to a hospital. It is more important to uh, uh, safely lay them down to prevent injury and that uh, their mouth is not pointed upward. This is because um, someone seizing might uh, actually emit fluids from their mouth, such as saliva or even vomit. Uh, so leaning them to one side uh, can prevent them from choking. Uh, so, in having my driving privileges stolen from me a second time due to an action I cannot control, I was told it would now require one full year of having no seizures before I could be reconsidered. It's literally being teased with the keys just constantly held slightly out of reach. Uh, I was not willing to go back for a third try um, if it was just so simple for my license to be removed just the same. Compliance, it's, what does compliance mean? Compliance is, is almost a negative word on uh, people forgetting to take their, their medicines. People don't fail medicines. Medicines fail people. So if a medicine is too hard to remember to take or too expensive to be able to be taken and not covered by insurance, then it's not going to do any good. The former Sur Surgeon General C. Everett Koop made the point that pills don't work and people who don't take them. And if the people are not taking them, there's a problem. Either there's a communication problem, there's a complexity problem, it's just too hard to remember. And it's way harder to remember three times or four times a day than it is once or twice a day, just morning and, and evening. Or there's an expense problem or a side effect problem, but there's some problem with the pill, not a problem usually with the person taking the pill. What largely introduced me to regularly using public transportation was a relationship I was having at the time uh, that started during my last semester of college. I attended CSU Monterey Bay, but my home is in the San Francisco Bay Area. This would separate us by approximately 100 miles uh, once I graduated. In order for me to visit, I could be reliant on someone like either of my parents to drive me the 200 mile round trip distance, or I could find another way. Using a mixture of Caltrain and MST bus service proved to be just what I was looking for. When necessary, I'll take various methods to get all over the place. Uh, in fact, I lugged around a tripod and camera on a Samtrans bus yesterday to film the various clips of neurologists speaking that you'll see throughout this picture. Uh, getting there, like so, may have been somewhat of a nuisance, but it's also a demonstration of being proactive and playing the cards as they are dealt. I also have started up a new interest in walking. I don't merely mean tiptoeing around the block either. I like to walk all over the place. Um, on a good day, I'll go briskly walking around the neighborhood for an hour and a half. That's probably about five miles worth. As it only uses your own two feet, uh, it's as close to being independent as I can think. We got sent down to the seizure surgery police or something. <laughs> <laughs> Bring folks in. And I, I mean, I, you know, it you really is a, it, it, it's a personal decision. It's one of those things where I think I try to sit down with folks and, and talk with them about risk. I you know, can understand, I know it's one of those things like uh, you know, going to, uh, um, it, I, I guess it's, there are risks on both sides. And, and I think that's the most important thing to understand about it. Uh, Explain what you're having, having seizure surgery uh, does come with some risks. Um, and they're the kind of things that you would expect. Uh, you know, removing <coughs> an area in the brain can lead to problems associated with having that area removed, or it can lead to an unexpected problem because something happens that uh, isn't even necessarily related to the tissue that's being removed. So, you know, like a stroke or something. It's something that you just can't expect. I think seizure surgery is an underutilized modality still in the United States. Uh, 
it is a very scary thing. I mean, it's like that old cliche, hey, we're not talking brain surgery here, except we are. And brain, brain surgery doesn't scare these guys because they do it for a living, but it is a, it is a scary thing. Um, still, hitting your head on a concrete repeatedly with seizures is an even more scary thing. Sometimes I think back to my trip to Hawaii, where all the blasted mosquitoes were. Um, had I never gone on that particular trip, great as Hawaii is, um, I might never have gotten the mosquito bites, which means that if one of them truly was my original viral source, I might never have received the virus and thus never entered the world of epilepsy. Chew on that. Still, I try not to let this bother me. Um, I'm in the process of pursuing a career in filmmaking with a degree in teledramatic arts and technology. I filmed a variety of uh, genres over the years, from action to thriller to adult-oriented to children's stories and everything in between um, just to see what was possible. Um, never have I allowed my epilepsy to prevent any of my interests, and I'm currently on another good spout with seizures, with my last one being seven months ago. Who knows if driving will ever be an option for me again, but um, with the way things are going, uh, it may not ever be a necessity.